Superman, Man of Tomorrow issue 10, sees the Justice League learn Superman will handle this threat himself. Manhunter and Wonder Woman don't think that that's such a good idea, since threat has gotten the best of Superman before. Superman says that if there's more people out there, then it's just more for this threat to play to a bigger audience, and every time he's come to Earth, he's done terrible things and he won't let that happen again. Not listening to his teammates, Superman heads out to confront Lobo, who is in the process of terrifying a little alien child. Lobo tells Superman to head back to his clubhouse and he will tell them when it's safe to come out, but Superman won't listen, saying that he doesn't care who paid him but he cannot allow him to collect this bounty. Lobo says that this little alien isn't so little at all, but Superman again warns him politely to stand down and clear out of Earth's sector. Lobo however opens fire, saying this will be the least satisfying scrap he has had with Big Blue ever. Superman fires his heat vision at the hunter, taking out his gun, but Lobo uses his fist to beat down the Man of Steel, saying the fate of the universe relies on him killing this alien. Superman smashes him away, saying that he's made peace with who Lobo is, calling him a vulgar, morally compromised bounty hunter with no respect. Lobo wants him to call the Green Lanterns and ask him about the alien as Superman goes to comfort the being. Lobo pleads with him not to go closer as the alien begins feeding on Superman's power, using the energy to grow in size and smash the Man of Steel away. Lobo says that Superman bet on the wrong alien as he tells Clark that the alien is an empathy vampire who sells sub stories and eats people's pity they have towards him, and he has done it on multiple worlds, wreaking havoc in his predator form once he has enough energy. Normally, it takes multiple feedings to get him into his current form, which is why he wanted Superman to stay away, since he's full of empathy. Superman owns up to the mistake, asking how they can contain it, so grabbing his chains, Lobo says that he's going to have to follow his rule book and take no prisoners. The alien attacks Lobo, knowing he is scared of him, and for once in his existence, he tried to do something for others without a price attached. Superman says that he's wasting time with Lobo and he doesn't have enough to nourish him, but the hero does and he can keep on feeding on him while he goes to the other planets in Earth sector. The alien knows that they can't stop him, so he wonders if they have accepted defeat, but Superman knows that he cannot turn off his empathy, so he cannot stop the alien from feeding. The alien grabs Superman, beginning to feed on him as Clark knows why Lobo calls him the creep since he is a sad little alien after all. The alien soon finds it's not feeding, as Superman says that as the last real survivor of a race, it's impossible for him to have empathy for someone who would lie about that. And it's funny how pity and fear can quickly become a disappointment. The alien begins to weaken, as Superman tells him that he couldn't just attack those planets, he had to break their hearts, and even Lobo isn't that vulgar. The vampire soon shrinks back down to its baby form, as Lobo says that he respects trust and a word is his bond, and he too is the last survivor of his people, but he killed them the old fashioned way, wanting to give the alien a little taste of that. Later with the creep sealed back in its container, Superman tells Lobo he deserves an apology, and it's no secret that he's not a fan of the bounty hunter, but Lobo tells him not to bother, since 99.99% .99 of the time, Superman would have been right, but like Superman said, if you're going to ruin people's lives, be upfront about it. Superman can see the type of honour in that as Lobo blasts off, telling Superman that if the vampire kept killing, then who would be the one to pay him his money for the bounty? Sometime later, Superman has been captured by a group of aliens, bound in kryptonite shackles as he's led out into a giant arena, which is presided over by Mongol. Clark realises that he's on Warworld, citing Mongol up on his throne as Creedon, the mightiest warrior in Warworld, arrives, attacking Superman for being a challenger to his title of champion. Clark knows Mongol is doing this to get him out of the way, and this is all a distraction. So not wasting any time, he uses Creedon's attack to smash open his chains, freeing him from his kryptonite poisoning and allowing his powers to slowly come back. Quickly dealing with Creedon, Superman charges Mongol, who punches the still weakened hero out of the ship. Outside, Superman spots the giant super weapon Mongol has trained on Earth, learning that the villain wants to kill many before he installs himself as the new ruler of Earth. Superman smashes into Mongol, blasting the weapon with his heat vision, but Mongol stops him before he can blow it up. Deciding Mongol wants a fight, Superman decides to oblige, beating him back into Warworld as Mongol says that if Superman wanted to fight him, then only one of them can make it out of the arena alive. Superman says that he would give him a fight, and he is true to his word, saying the arriving Creedon is his new challenger. Creedon happily attacks Mongol as the villain demands to fight the Man of Steel himself, demanding to prove that he is the real champion and ruler of Earth, not 
Superman. Superman, meanwhile, races towards the cannon, charging straight through it and destroying it, telling Mongol that he really doesn't get it, that the hero doesn't dominate Earth, and if he is seen as a champion by the people, that's just how they see him. He's not forcing them to see it. As Superman deals with Mongol and heads back down to Metropolis, he tells the villain that he doesn't rule the people, he keeps them safe, and more importantly, he protects them. Superman Man of Tomorrow issue 10 was another great duology of fun Superman stories that again focus on specific parts of his character, such as empathy. I enjoyed Clark's team up with Lobo and how he admitted he was wrong in judging Lobo off of all of the other times they've had run-ins, as well as beating the villain by basically just being truthful and being too good of a person. I always like when writers manage to make Superman win when he never has to really throw a punch at all. His fight with Mongol was a lot of fun as well, as well as Superman viewing himself not as any champion of Earth or ruler of Earth when villains think he is that or should be that. That's just classic Superman character stuff and I absolutely love it when it is showcased. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.